with yet another DJ's Brewtube Beer Review. And tonight we're going to review a classic. What are we going to review? We're going to review Fuller's London Porter. Fuller's London Porter is produced by Fuller, Smith and Turner out of London, England. And this beer is widely considered the best English porter there is. So it's available year round, 5.4% ABV and 30 IBUs. Now, I drink a lot of porters. I drink a lot of American porters, which tend to be bigger than English porters. So let's see what this one does to my palate. I'm ready to get into this one. I believe the last time I was in the UK, I've got my Stonehenge hat on. I had one of these on tap and I really liked it, but that night I had many a pint. So we've got our Nonic pint. Sorry, Fullers, I don't have one of your glasses. I'm going to use a Samuel Smith Nonic pint but it's about as close as we're going to get today. So, let's get the cap popper working. Let's see if it works today. Uh-oh. Boom. Fuller's Crown. Ready to go. Lots of smoke coming off the top of this bad boy. And let's get it in the glass. Pour it nice and dark. See how aggressive we get with it. What kind of head we get? Boom. Yes, as I thought. Get a little aggressive with these guys, you get Headzilla. That's right. So, as you can see, we've got a really dark, hmm, tan head on this one. Not really super dark like some stouts you see nowadays, but microscopic, mega tight bubbles. When you swirl it, hmm, no alcohol legs to speak of. We're talking 5.4% ABV, so it's not going to be killer. Three fingers of head. Now, also important to, you know, I guess, note, is that this beer is one of the most widely copied beers in it by home brewers. So it must be pretty damn good if home brewers are copying it. Hmm. And you guys know what I think about homebrew. That's the basically the mother's tit of all of this, you know, thing that we're doing here, drinking craft beer. If it wasn't for home brewers, guys, none of us would be drinking lovely beer. We'd be drinking macro produced shit. Plain and simple. Anyways, I'll get off the soapbox. Let's get a nose on this one and see what we got going on. Uh, yep, super dark. Before I do that, super dark, no light coming through this. Down the bottom of the glass you can see some ruby hints, but not much at all. Really opaque beer. Let's get a nose on it. Mmm, coffee. Dark and milk chocolate both. Bit of toffee. And sweet bready malt. That's what a, that's what a porter's all about. Sweetness, coffee, chocolate, mmm going in my belly on a winter's day. So let's get a taste on this, guys. Cheers. Quite effervescent in the mouth compared to other porters that I drank. I've been drinking a lot of Baltic porters and a lot of American porters, which are a bit thicker and bigger beers. Um, a lot of coffee flavor in this beer. A lot of chocolate and a lot of sweet malt. Really tasty beer, as you can see already, it's, it's, it's exhibiting, can't even speak today, exhibiting awesome glass lacing. I'm going to let this one warm up a little bit, and I'll be right back. Hey there, guys. I'm back. As you can tell, I've drank this down pretty far. Let it warm up, and as this beer warms, it's interesting. It's got that English ale yeast in it, so the dark fruits came out, and it's a lot more pleasant beer as it warms. There's absolutely no alcohol taste at all in this beer. As it warms, it thins a little bit, but it stays about medium bodied the entire time from beginning to end, even as it warmed to where it is now, almost to just the dregs of the beer. So, what kind of grade are we going to give this now that it's warmed up? We can taste the dark fruits, things of that sort. Rate Beer gives it 100. Beer Advocate gives it a 94, which is about an A minus, and I'm going to go with that 94 myself. I think it's a really good beer. Um, I like American porters a little bit better than this porter, and there are other porters that I like better, but this is a very good porter, and that doesn't mean I wouldn't buy it again. I would definitely buy it again. I'd drink it again. It's a very good beer, but to me, it's an A- minus all in all when you hash everything together. So, we'll do the final chug. <sighs> Lovely. We'll see you on the next DJ Brew Tube. Remember what I say, guys. Think globally drink locally, support the craft beer movement, help this thing keep growing. Remember, these guys promote a lot that they're an independent brewery. That means they're a craft brewer, sort of, anyways. So, 
See you at the next DJ's Brew Tube. Thanks a million for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. If there's a beer you want me to review, let me know. And we'll see you then. And that's a big what? Oh, damn. That's a big pizza.